Welcome back to our Romania series. I'm Heather, this is Brady, and we are traveling the world with our two girls, Alexa and Chloe. For the last few weeks, we have been traveling around Transylvania, exploring medieval cities, visiting an amusement park and an underground salt mine, and taking the most scenic steam train ride. But our time in Romania would not be complete without visiting two of the most famous castles in the country. So we have chosen a very gloomy day to visit Corvin's castle. <laughs> and it's, it's very kind of eerie. We're here about 30 minutes after they're supposed to open, but all the gates are closed up. There's crows crowing everywhere. It's the perfect little creepy day. <laughs> Daddy, you have to see it or where are we going? We're going there to the is no people. Chloe, are you allowed to enter the gates of the castle? <gasps> Whoa! Let's go! <laughs> we were hoping maybe there would be some coffee here. I'm thinking that's a no, but hopefully we can get in. <laughs> It, it must be that everyone realized no one was going to come because of the rain. Because of the rain? Yeah. <laughs> but it does, it kind of feels like, feels kind of creepy and abandoned. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's, I mean, that's probably the most impressive castle we've ever seen, you think? Man, it's definitely a very grand entrance walking into this castle here. And I think we picked the perfect time to visit it. We might have it all to ourselves. This feels so creepy. <laughs> this is so creepy. We're here pretty much by ourselves. And all of the doors seem to be like locked. And then sometimes people will come out and yell at us and be like, you can come in here. <laughs> it's just very strange very much a choose your own adventure here in Corbin's castle today. We were the first visitors, even though they've been open for a good 45 minutes now. And uh, we keep going down these dark paths and ending up in a dead end because the castle isn't fully open yet. They haven't unlocked all the doors. There's more light down there. I see more. There's more light down there, Alexa. I see it. So Corvin's castle happens to be one of the biggest castles in all of Europe. It was built around the mid 14th century and then was added on throughout the years. But it's now one of the best sites to visit in Romania for sure. It's a very deep well. So it was my understanding that this is Dracula's castle. I've seen some other videos and heard that this is like the place that Vlad the Impaler lived. And just from a quick search, it turns out that's not true. That's Bronze Castle. Uh, Bron Bronze Castle is what it's called? Bronze, but I thought that he was just called Prisoner there. I don't know. We're a little confused about the history. Um, but we will be going to Bronze Castle tomorrow. So we'll add that in. This is apparently where all of the weaponry is being showcased. I feel like I got a little bit spooked. We walk in and there was someone getting ready, like there have different people like leading the different rooms of like watching over things. And we didn't see Sarah. She started moving and we were both like, <gasps> but it's a little spooky here. I don't know. It just is. You want to hold one? Yeah. I just don't really want to. Don't scratch it. Is that cool? So one of the most interesting things about this experience so far is that all of the doors are closed and you just 
Like, some of them you can open, some of them you can't. And then you just never know what you'll find. There might be people in there, like, dressed in costumes. There could be no one at all. Like, it's very strange, and it's like... There could be fake people that room. look very realistic. <laughs> yeah, it's They're just a... They're really creepy. It's just a it's little... It's a choose your own adventure. It's a little strange. And I think what makes it even more strange is just that there aren't other people here. I feel like most of the time this is going to be flooded with people, doors are going to be left open, it's not going to be the same experience. So being here today in the rain pretty much by ourselves, I feel like we have the best experience. <laughs> The door's closed, like, do you go in? We have to, or maybe it's locked. I hear people in there. Why are you guys closing your eyes? Because there's creepy paintings. <laughs> Very creepy. So after a little bit of research, we learned that Vlad the Impaler was imprisoned here at Corbin's castle, which is the only association with Dracula here. Obviously Dracula being a myth, but he was a real person. Dracula was based on a real person, Vlad the Impaler, who lived at Bronze Castle apparently, but was imprisoned here in the dungeon, which I did see a dungeon sign earlier, so we will be going, at least I will be going to check that out. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> dungeons are creepy. Alexa's not going, huh? So no children allowed in this place, which, oh, I see why. Alex, what do you think about this castle? So that was so cool. Creepy. It was a little creepy <laughs> exploring uh, Corbin's castle. I don't know, it felt like what you would imagine a castle would feel like, and I think it was pretty cool. Definitely just a picture perfect example of a med medieval castle. <sighs> and the perfect day to see it too. Sun up, sun down. I know now. You are the one. I know now. And that. So we have now officially come to Count Dracula's castle. This is the castle that Vlad the Impaler, which the Count Dracula story is based off of. Vlad the Impaler lived here, and we're gonna go check it out. Wow, this is so cool. It looks like a medieval castle. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> After me? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, Chloe. Here you go with that. Chloe, how did you get so brave? Wow, this is cool. <laughs> See, yeah, this is what you expect visiting Dracula's castle. <laughs> Seems like a proper walkway. What I love is Chloe, you just saw it and you ran right up and you were so excited. How did you get so brave? So this is really interesting, I feel like um, it's a very different feel than the other castle that we were in, um, Corbin's castle. Uh, this has a really, a more modest feel to it, even though it's very, um, beautiful. It feels more like a house than it does a castle, but I actually kind of like it. So history and legend I find to be rather fascinating because both at this castle and at Corbin's castle, they tell the same myths, the same um, what's the word? Legends. They tell the same legends at both castles regarding wells and how people were trying to earn their freedom and as far as where Vlad the Impaler was imprisoned or lived and the reality is that it seems with some research that we just don't know any of these things. There almost seems to be no connection to Vlad the Impaler uh, at either castle from what we can tell and from what's written around these castles but the myth and the legend lives on, but it makes it more fun, I feel like. I'm not sure why, but this place is significantly more touristy. There's, there's gotta be 200 tourists walking through this castle, whereas at Corbin's castle, we were the only ones. Uh, we also got there right at opening. It's true. 
which is really fascinating. I'm not sure if we just got lucky, but I, I personally think Corbin's Castle is a lot more fascinating. Heather likes this one just because you can see how people lived here, uh, but Corbin's Castle is significantly more grand. You can also pay to have uh, Dracula give you a tour of his castle. <laughs> No thanks. <laughs> Is that Dracula? I think that's Count Dracula ahead of us. You think so? Is he scary? No. <laughs> <laughs> so before coming to Romania, I thought Transylvania, one, I guess that there was a time period in my life where I thought it was just from the legend, but two, you, you thought it was just from the legend? Yeah. But if it was real, then it must have been like a, one city or one castle, like the Transylvanian castle. Uh, but that's not true. Transylvania is a massive region, nearly a third of all of Romania. And I mean, there's so many beautiful castles, like we could not see all of them. As we've been driving, we'll see signs pointing off to this castle and that castle. Uh, but it's definitely cool coming to the two castles that are most associated with Dracula and the, the legend of Transylvania. Unfortunately, our time in Romania must come to an end. We have enjoyed this beautiful country so much and we are already dreaming of coming back in warmer weather. Thanks so much for following along and if you haven't seen our last five episodes in this Romania series, we will leave a link to the playlist in the description below. Also make sure you are subscribed as we heat things up a bit and soon kick off our new series in Costa Rica. Our goal for this series is to see as much wildlife and stay in as many unique accommodations as possible. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.